Hey, everybody, I'm John Granato, and that's Josh Jordan. You can hear us on ESPN 97.5 and 92.5. Hit subscribe if you haven't yet, so you get all of our content here at SportsMap HOU. Josh, there's been a lot of talk about Alex Bergman getting traded. A big reason is that they have a depleted farm system. And one of the biggest reasons they have a depleted farm system is that they didn't have their draft picks for a couple of years, first or second rounders, and that was punishment for the sign-stealing scandal. A lot of Astros haters are critical of the league office for not punishing the players. But isn't this that, you know, Alex Bregman and having to trade him as opposed to hold off and bring up a minor leaguer that's going to be ready, isn't that a direct result of the punishment that they got for the sign stealing scandal? Absolutely. We know how the MLB draft works. It takes a few years for these guys to kind of show what they can do and get up to the majors. It's not like the NFL. So here we are. They lost their picks in 2020 and 2021. Well, it's about to be 2024. That's when maybe three or four years later, some of those guys start to show that they can be big league ball players. So I think if even just a couple of those guys hit, you know, maybe the Maybe the Astros would look at it like, oh, this is business as usual. We'll let Bregman walk because we know we have somebody that's really good that that could replace him. Also, it makes me think, what if they had a really good relief pitcher that was ready to come up last year and they didn't have to overpay for Montero? Or or what if they had a first base prospect to where they didn't have to go do the Abreu deal? So I I think this has kind of handcuffed them. And if you look at it, they're paying 10 guys with salaries over 11 million bucks a year. That, that's way more than a lot of teams. That's a lot of money they're spending because they don't have that cheap farm system help coming up right now. Yeah. Now, let's – okay, so you, they also traded for Greinke and gave up prospects. They also traded for Verlander and yep. gave up prospects. Now, any of those guys pan out? I don't know that, that they would have panned out with the Astros – None of them have really become huge players, but the Astros, the Astros definitely have been playing with their minor league system, have been great in their minor league system, but the Jeff Luno days are over and they're not the same. So, uh, you know, they're a little bit of blaming on themselves, but also it caught Luno, you know, it cost him his job, the sign stealing stand scandal. So that's a direct result of where their, their, their minor league market is as well. What about all these teams that want Alex Bregman all of a sudden? The ones that were screaming about how the cheaters and hated Alex Bregman. How hypocritical are they? It's funny. I was I was looking on X the other day and you're seeing Dodgers fans and even Yankees fans and Red Sox fans like and I find it funny, too. Those are some of the other teams that we're pretty sure they're involved in some scandals. We know the Yankees and the Red Sox were punished, at least for it with the Apple watches and, you know, the 2018 code breaker thing. So, but other fans are like that too with Bregman. They're, it's funny, right? Springer leaves and oh, that he's fine. He's not an Astro anymore. George Springer's a great guy. And yeah. Carlos Correa gets offered all the money. And, you know, he would have gotten even more if it wasn't for the, the medical thing that came up. So it, how convenient it is that we're going to boo Jordan Alvarez and Kyle Tucker at the All-Star game incessantly. They weren't even a part of that. But right. just because you're wearing that Astros jersey, you're going to catch that heat. Right, they're all hypocritical. Uh, there's, no, there's no two ways about it, especially Dodger fan. I, I don't want him to go to the Dodgers. I don't. I don't want to ever see Alex Bregman because I want to root for Alex Bregman because I can still root for Carlos Gray. I can still root for George Springer and Charlie Morton. I can't root for you if you're a Dodger. Sorry. Don't go there, Alex. Don't just do do us one favor in the city of Houston. Don't go to the Dodgers so we can still like you. I couldn't believe that they booed Carlos Correa this year. That we booed, we booed Carlos Correa this year for whatever reason. I don't want to boo Alex Bregman. I just don't. But if you're a Dodger, that's what Alex, you're going to catch it, baby. You're going to catch it. You are. And let's look at it this way, too. Some, there are some Yankees fans that are like, we don't want Alex Bregman here. And we would never root for that guy. Ken Hoffman wrote a piece for Sports Map the other day. He brought up a great point. The Yankees and Red Sox fan bases, they hate each other. But think how they flipped when Johnny Damon switched teams and when Roger Clemens switched teams and Jacoby Ellsbury and Wade Boggs. So they get over it real quick when those guys are hitting home runs for the hometown team. Yeah, no, they'll get, I won't get over him being a Dodger though. Sorry. I'm not (laughs) going to be over. I will not get over you being a Dodger, Alex Bregman. Don't do it. 